right, listen up. We are Hebrew Israelites. We come out here every Sunday to prophesy the downfall of this wicked place called America. And to bring these people on the side back to the true nationality. You Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you're the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, all right? And these are, these are, this is nothing but the truth, all right? And we come here every weekend, week out, letting you people know that certain things are about to happen. For instance, America being destroyed. And two thirds of, of the house of Israel, they're gonna be destroyed along with it. Because y'all love to push this, this uh, system that the so-called white man pushes. What the Bible calls Esau, all right? Like the brothers holding the sign up, World War, World War III is coming. America's gonna take part with it. And they're gonna be taking part in destroying that land of America, all right? And we already tell you that we're in those, we're in those days, the last days, all right? And in that time too, all these, all more and more wickedness is just gonna be put out, all right? Because things are gonna start speeding up. Spirits are gonna be working, all right? And it's our job to let you know they come with destruction, all right? But, uh, bless you, brother, bless you, man. Uh, America's gonna be destroyed. There's no blessing in that. But, you know, like we say, two thirds of you Negro Latinos, they are gonna perish along with it, all right? Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Right, and the word perilous means like hard or harsh times. Alright? I've been telling you, America, these hard times, they're, they're, they're just beginning. They're barely starting even, they're, they're uh, barely even starting right now. You know, but they're gonna start being just pounding the earth. Yeah, pour it out. Alright? Uh, go ahead and continue. For, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. Right, and all these scriptures, man, these are those forms of wickedness that are going to be poured out upon the earth. All right? You know, because that's what America pushes. That's what the so-called white man pushes, that uh, these things are good. All right? Well, the Most High is telling you that these, these, are the, these are the wicked things that are going to happen upon the earth. For instance, like last week, uh, proud and high-minded. You know, we already told you people throughout the scriptures that, and the Most High told you himself that being high-minded is going to get you destroyed. All right, and all you people today, for you two-thirds of you nation, you other nations, you heathen, y'all are nothing but proud and high-minded. You know, the most I told you to not be, be high-minded because, well, first of all, to you people, to you Israelites, you forget, man, that y'all were nothing. Yeah, and today, and to this day, y'all are still nothing. You know, y'all don't, y'all, y'all have nothing, y'all have nothing to show for that glory that you supposedly think you are. Luke chapter 14 verse 11 for whosoever exalted himself shall be abased and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted right but you know the scriptures say that he that exalted himself should be just abased you know this land America you two-thirds all you nations y'all exalt yourselves to a level that you shouldn't even be exalting yourself but even at that you're you don't have like I said you don't have nothing to show for it y'all are nothing y'all 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 uh like I said in the Philippians, y'all fill your own bellies. You know, you're, you, uh, in a minute, uh, you, well, y'all corrupted yourselves, man. Y'all took on this sort of mindset by yourself. The Most High didn't give you that. We read it all the time in uh, Ecclesiasticus that pride is the beginning of sin and it was not made for man. The only man, the only power that's allowed to be proud is the Most High because he did all this. He created everything. He's, worthy. He's the one that's worthy yeah. of all glor glorification. There you go. And that's to be beautiful. exalted. You know, like the scriptures say, you know, we're nothing but uh, ashes and earth. Ashes and dust. Right. Right. And, for, and, right, and for you people to be, get to that level of high-mindedness or pride, spiritual pride and everything, you know, the Most High, He's not dealing with people like that. And, every, and, and, and when it says it's the beginning of sin, it's because it leads you away from the Most High. And, and if you can obviously tell, you know, you look at America today, you look at all these people, look at just how proud they are. Like, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, there is none that seeketh the most high, there is none that doeth good. 
Nobody's thinking the most high except the elect. Oh, uh, this is James chapter 4, verse 7. Verse 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Like the brother was saying, you know, uh, proud was the beginning of you departing from the Heavenly Father. You know, pride. So there was a man at one point in time in the beginning who was called, uh, uh, he was considered to be called a serpent. Right? He had the, a man had a characteristics like of a snake. And he had weaved himself, you know, uh, as, as a, as a uh, subtile creature into Eve's mind. And then after that, it tri trickled down to her husband by giving him that false doctrine basically and going over to breaking the Heavenly Father's commandment. Right? So what happened to them? They were cast out. And that's when the beginning of sin. At that moment, they were proud. Pride had, pride had it sprung up in them. But it says, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Right, but like it's like scripture said that the most high resists the proud. You know? It was there from the beginning. That's what it was speaking about. And it was your job and, and, and going to that whole thing, you know, y'all people, y'all don't realize this is your uh, this is your battle to see if you're worthy to get to the new, to the get inherit the kingdom. This is your this is your this is your lot to see if you're worthy of what's to come. But y'all people, y'all don't take consideration of the scriptures and y'all cast everything behind you. Y'all got proud. And that's why I like I was saying about last week, that's what our whole lesson was about, about the wisdom of this world. How it's foolishness with the most high. Because that type of wisdom is going to lead you to exactly what we're speaking of, pride. What America has offered you. And it, and it will lead you to think that America is a good place. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 21 and 1. My son, as thou sinned, do so no more, but ask pardon of thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword, the wounds thereof, whereof cannot be healed. Right, and that's, the, uh, I remember this brother was texting me yesterday and he made a mention, a comment about that incurable, uh, that in, yeah, that incurable wound that this place has. Right, like, because the brother hit me up on a text saying that he had, down, uh, further up town, uh, that he had some Edomites saying, uh, Peach, peach, uh, impeach Obama. They were basically protesting, and uh, and I, I made a comment saying they're, but they're a bunch of idiots because us, us men, we know about the system, the government. But first and foremost, it says the scriptures say the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right, so the earth is going to be governed by wicked nations and kingdoms before the return of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to reestablish the nation of Israel under righteousness. So that's why I said they're a bunch of idiots, right? But they're, they're, they, in they're, these Edomites' minds, they think they're doing the right thing. They think they're, they're standing up for, you know, for, for, for right causes and, oh, let's put in a white president or whatever. Man, fuck all that bullshit. They are stupid. What y'all fail to realize is that this place is going to be destroyed and that wound that y'all, y'all, that wound that you've committed on killing the Native American Indians and the Negro Latinos, the Negro Latinos, Native American Indians, and putting them to slavery, that not done away with. It's a wound that's 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 probably healed over with a thin layer of skin. But what happens, like after a little bit of time, it starts springing back up, a scab on it. You know, it you starts seeping, it starts seeping out, it gets infected again. This is an incurable, it's an incurable wound, man. This place is destined. And, and, and uh, prophesied it's going to be destroyed. Every great kingdom that's ever stood on the front that stood up in great pride has fallen. Just like the the the, uh, the two thirds you Israelites, you Negro Latinos, y'all were y'all were brought to desolation. The whole the whole kingdom was. That's why the Most High scattered us to the four corners of the earth and to be brought under slavery because of pride. And every great kingdom after that has fallen. It's an incurable wound, and only Yahweh by Shem Shah can heal that wound. Not what men just think they can do by standing up doing a protest. We're not praying to have this place healed. 
We're standing up to usher in the kingdom and to prepare the way of the Lord and to draw in the elect. So don't get it twisted. Saying, well, y'all are out there. What are y'all trying to hit? What are y'all trying to hit? We ain't trying to heal nothing. We're prophesying the downfall of this place called America for the 230 Negro Latinos along with the other nations. Yeah. Uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and uh, uh, 8. Uh, Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her to take bomb for her pain and so she and so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Yes. For her what? for her judgment reach unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right, so her judgment has reached up to heaven. There's no turning it back. You can't, you can't heal it no more, man. All the praying, the brothers, uh, the, uh, the brothers, the prophets that we're doing in the scriptures, you know, we're uh, praying to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, to, to, to uh, turn away from his, from the evil he was about to do and commit on the nations or on Israel. He got tired of it. He's like, man, he grew weary of that. So he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have him destroyed anyways. Just like in the time of a. Uh, uh, King Josiah, you know, he did all the, the righteous things, you know, to uh, please Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. But then Yahweh, you know, the Lord said, uh, I, for all this, I'm still not going to turn, turn turn away from what uh, King uh, uh, Jeroboam has done. All right? He thought he did mad wickedness. He still remembered it. So what, what Josiah did, it, would, it, would, it didn't appease the Lord's wrath. They were still brought into Babylon, uh, destroyed by Babylon. During the time of King uh, Josiah and his son, his two sons that, were, uh, that took up after him, they were eventually destroyed by Babylon, man. You know, so every great nation has always been destroyed because of great pride and there's no healing. No matter what you do, you try to stand up and please the Lord. No, the Lord tell, told Jeremiah what to do. Pray not for this people. And we just read it in Jeremiah 51. We would have healed her, but there's no healing of her. For her judgment has reached up to heaven. So now it's in Yahweh Shimi Hawashai's hands now. There's no turning that back, man. You can't turn away, man. You can't turn away those prophecies that already been uh, set for it on its mark. Like it tells us in what? Second Ezra? Was it 16? Yeah. This is Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 26. They answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteth fast and fast away. It cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time. And they hasten fast, man, but but that's why the Lord said that Peter, uh, Peter said uh, the Lord, the Lord, a day to the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is a day to the Lord, man. So it's not accounted as men's slackness. You know? It says it, it hasten greatly, right. so uh, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. All right, this world is full of infirmities, man, unrighteousness. Everywhere you turn and look, you turn on the news, what do you hear on the news? You don't hear good things on the news. And in Sinatra, these little reconvened towns, they try to, oh, what's going on downtown, or hey, there's having this festival. Man, what, what is that gonna do to somebody that's suffering on a daily basis, man? That's being vexed and, and, and uh, afflicted daily. You know, spiritually, right? Physically, what is that gonna do? Nothing. You know. Uh, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, but as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Right. The evil has been sown, man. It's been sown from the beginning of, of, of the time. Of the time. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and at the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that then cannot it come that is sown with good. Right, so there's there's there 
whoever's in rulership in this time of age has to be destroyed and they're obviously working evil man and it's obvious it's apparent all you got to do is look all you, all you got to do is look on the on the news I do a little bit of research about United States history if you don't know that you're an idiot all right that's all you got to do to find out for the grain of evil seed had been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much ungodliness hath it brought up unto this time? And how much shall it yet reward until the time of threshing come? All right, so this time it's going to be very horrible. Like it says in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 in the last verse, how horrible is this generation, man? The destruction of this place is going to be horrible. Uh, ponder now thyself. How great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed hath brought forth. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill. So there is without number. You can't count the, the destruction of the bodies that are going to be laying in this earth. And the earth is going to take and consume on, on. Feed off. There's a lot of, there's a, this place is, is, is covered in darkness, man. Right? Wicked here. Yeah, I was gonna say this real quick that that's why, like, uh, you know, like, like we're saying, man, that's why it had, this place has to be destroyed. You know, there's, that's, uh, I know he said a minute ago, like, there's things that, uh, well, everything the Most High does, he does for a reason. We can't comprehend it why or why. It's, it's just, the Most High knows. You know, the Most High knows what is the right thing to do. You know? That it tells you in Deuteronomy that he's a just, a, a God of all his, all, that all his ways are judgment and truth. You know, and we don't, we don't, but we understand, you know, the men of the Lord, we, we know why this place has to be destroyed. Like the brother was saying, if you look around, you see it. You know, you see that, you know, I was telling the brother too, after that text we had, I had sent to him, you know, I was saying that, uh, or I had gone to Walmart real quick and there were these uh, ASU, or these college kids had, uh, had tables on both entrances Filled with a bunch of wooden idol uh, crosses, and I heard some of the crap they were saying, man. And my, you know, I was like, all right, you know, but uh, they're saying we're doing it, or it, the money you donate goes to a good cause, you know. But I told his brother, like, like I was like, you can. They allow all these slutty chicks to uh, sell these crosses and feed all these lies, but when it comes to us brothers coming out here to preach the truth, the real, the real truth, the real words, the real interpretations. Everybody has a problem with it, you know? But that's a problem because the Most High always told you, do not, uh, well, it tells you in uh, Thessalonians to not hinder the spirit. And, and another part, you know, the whole duty of man was to fear the Most High and obey his commandments. Uh, Isaiah 8 and 20 says, if they speak not according to my word, there is no light in them. That's plain and simple, man, that this whole world is supposed to be flourishing in the Most High's words. The Most High's instructions, commandments, whether it be this, like, like to the elect to say that, uh, you know, anything that you ask me, I'll, I'll, I'll give you so that your joy is filled, you know? But th these things are being done in unrighteous ways, you know? That's why this place has to be destroyed. I got uh, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 19. Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter, that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. For, for of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. When, a, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, plain the harlot. Right. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, wally, a ho holy, a holy, or what? Yeah, holy. holy a right seed, how then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Right, so and right there, that word that he's reading about holy, meaning he, he made Israel. Through, uh, I know, it says in Ezekiel that he had, when he had made you, or when he had spread a skirt over you, that he had done everything perfect, that you were filled. He gave you everything that you needed. But for some reason, y'all people, like you said, like I said, seeing it as an evil thing, you have you're forsaken me. You know, what, that's why the scriptures say before that, man, uh, the most I even says, what did I do to you? What did I do to deserve for this for this land to become the way it is? Though we know it's 